You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their war games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rose has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. Oh, that's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse. Invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend, accidental or not. Well, for now, it looks like Team SmackDown is going to retreat. This didn't break into an all-out war, but they delivered a strong message here tonight. I agree, Corey. We didn't know who would represent the Blue Brand Survivor Series, and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage. I can't wait. We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um... Tensions escalating, and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good, I'll let the boss know.
Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. Champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles. A WWE Grand Slam Champion. This man has done it all, and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest fight. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right, if AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and the SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Look at all these oh cards. Stops. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. The stomp in every single part of his body. Styles has no control here. This can't be how AJ envisioned tonight going. The sidewalk slam. That holds back Styles' attack. Brutal boot. Here's a combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Just going all out with every blow. Stop in the leg. Evades the attack. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. It's a revolving door of forearms. First on the shoulders. Oh! Feast your eyes. AJ's eyes are glazed over. Oh, he was almost finished. Never say die, never fade, but sustain. That's AJ Styles here. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. AJ pausing to soak up the adulation of the WWE Universe to let that energy fuel him. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And gets tossed back into the mat. Close line. So effective. Uh-oh. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. He saw that one coming. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Oh, and a stop. Oof. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Kick. Ooh. He deflects it right back. Great agility. Springboard misses the target. Style 
Styles a step ahead. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. But AJ can't let this flourish derail him. Broken up with a fist to the face. Styles doing what he can do to halter the beatdown. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. And we just look out! High risk, cross body. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. AJ really left it all in the ring tonight, but as phenomenal as he was, he just couldn't come out on top.